Wicked, 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 wicked. Wicked tones, you know what I'm saying? You can see the... Hold on. People have been asking me to um, do some bicep stuff, like bicep curls and with all the tricep stuff I put out. So it got me thinking, because I got noticing more and more, I've noticed that my whole career, not to say that I'm not one of these people, but it's like the, the massive shoulder twig arm crew. So they can't like, I'm like not, I do not have the biggest arms in the world, no, nor do I preach that I'm like some, my arms are so great. I had the problem, I had that problem too, right? So where I was just like, like it happens with a lot of bigger guys because they just have such big structure up top, like so much development in the shoulders and chest that like their arms, either they're decent size, but they just don't match up to the size of the frame, right? right. So that's usually the case, but then there's other cases where guys like just, they literally think, I'm just gonna keep getting my shoulders as big as possible. And that's just gonna make up for the fact that I literally have no arm. Like when you get them to do certain like if I train certain guys that have had that, especially in the past more so, I don't really have guys like that nowadays. But guys when I was younger, they come to me and they'd have like these, literally like their arm is like 14 inches around. Not like, whatever, who gives a shit. But it's just like, and but they have a sh upper body or shoulders of like an Olympia level guy. So it's like, obviously you're not focusing on the stuff you need to focus on, right? Like it's time to take a step back and really reevaluate. So the guys who have that problem, or guys that have arm development problems in general, it's like I think it's the best. The best idea for them is to basically do an like a focused arm day. Yeah. So if you're if you're doing a if you're doing this push pull fucking nonsense that people do, or you have your right, your split whatever it is you do, and you're training a lot of guys train back and biceps together, obviously chest and triceps. It's like you could still do that. I, rec I would like recommend that, but I would recommend like giving yourself an entire arm day where you're focusing on bicep and tricep, or maybe you're just doing a tire. If your bicep's good and your tricep's flat as a fucking, as the wall here, it's like maybe just do triceps that day, right? So we're just gonna focus on kind of some isolating movements. We've done a lot of stuff for tricep. I'll like go over it slow, like quickly, but for bicep, we'll really look at some different stuff to do. Oh. <clears throat> Obviously, guys were looking to start out like tricep, tricep press downs, like we kind of did in another video where we're locking on tricep more. Obviously, that's a good overall tricep. And when guys are doing it properly, I'm gonna fucking show it again, why not? When guys and girls are doing it properly and catching on tricep it's a good overall tricep exercise when you're not because the guys who have these shoulder overdeveloped shoulders or overdeveloped upper bodies where they try and overpower everything with the power of their upper body and pin things in trap and delt or wherever the fuck else they could possibly fucking pin it other than their tricep so it's like if we're if we do what we were showing before where we pull i'm literally sinking arms into lat and then putting weight out on so since this weight's on my, on my hands here, my weight's forward leaning, if someone hits this bar away, I'll fall forward and hit my face on that, on that pole. My weight's not back here. So if the bar left me, I'd just be here. Literally, if you came over here right now and you chopped, chopped that cable, I'd fall this way. I'd literally fall forward into the bar. I have to catch myself because all my weight's over my hands, right? And that's the biggest mistake guys make. They want to do the whole fucking stack here which is great. But when you do this heavy weight, these guys will go, and you can see them, they're sitting back here. Their weight is back. There's nothing out here. I can do this with light weight, right? But, so they're just pinching out forward or they're slamming down, slamming, slamming. So it's again, this analogy of like power and explosion, but that shit doesn't matter for tricep. This isn't a fucking strength exercise, guys. Like we're not here doing powerlifting type movements trying to get muscle to fire like fucking crazy. We're trying to get it to stretch and expand and contract and do all the things we need to do for bodybuilding, right? So 
if we pin here and we trap here and we understand that this flexion of my elbow where my forearm is smashed into my bicep is my starting point. So I want to be pinned here and then I want to rock and squeeze through. So my extension, my press down isn't from my hand. You need to disassociate from your hand. It's not hand, hand, hand. It's literally me trying to flex my tricep. I'm trying to straighten my arm with my tricep. So I'm trying to squeeze my arm sword. So it's almost like I'm trying to flex my elbow that way. It's going back and I'm going here to fire down. I'm not going and flipping my hand. There's a massive difference. If you can't see that, you need to fucking reevaluate everything in terms of your arm training. So I'm not, I'm trying to, I'm based on hands here. So I'm literally trying to flex my tricep to push my hand down. I'm not trying to push my hand down to flex my tricep. That's the fucking problem. That's what everyone's missing. Good guys who train triceps, you see like guys like Rolly Winkler, some of the best triceps ever in bodybuilding. Some of the best you've ever seen, right? This guy will literally pin stuff here. and He's over here, even guys like Cutler and stuff, and they're rocking here. And guys are like, oh, he's leaning on the thing. No, he's literally squeezing tricep down. I can see he's flexing tricep. He's not pushing hand at all. It's not this. It's squeezing my arm out straight. So from that flex position, I'm squeezing my arm out. So I have to flex my arm, my elbow joint forward to squeeze here. But I have a fucking bar in my hand, so it looks straight down. So visually, you guys aren't seeing that. Because you're just watching, oh, it's to fucking pull the bar and up, 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 up. Like, it's like, no, they're connected to their tricep. And when you're in this position where you're pulled in, like we talked about before, my shoulders are retracted, they're tucked down, and my traps are tucked down. I'm not doing this. Guys that do this are fucking just as lost. Getting their weight over, getting their weight over the tricep thing and going like this. So they're getting tricep, but they're just getting this like, it's gonna happen right about here and then it's gonna flex through here. So we're getting a quarter of the range. We're just squeezing out that end portion. And those same, are the same guys that when they put their arms straight like this, there's no hang. So on front shots or whenever they're hitting bicep shots, there's no hang here. There's no dimension just like there's no dimension here when they hit front lat spreads, right? Because there's no hang of the tricep. There's no stretch. We're not digging into that long head and really blowing out that upper part of the tricep that's squeezing out through and firing down. You have to think about your tricep in terms of like, it's going, it's stretching and then firing up. So I'm here, I'm stretching, I'm squeezing it up and I'm letting it back out. I'm squeezing it up and I'm letting it back out. You can think about long head, this and that, this is the angle, this and this. That is the movement that elicits tricep contraction. Is me thinking, is me understanding that my tricep is stretched here, my tricep is contracted here. So I'm just going up and down. So I want to squeeze deeper and deeper. The tighter I bring my arm to my body, the even more contraction I can get when I'm squeezing out like that. Here, there's less. As I get closer, squeeze, 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 I'm almost cramping my tricep, right? If I'm understanding that I'm pressing down my arm to extend my hand, that's just a basic tip. People on fucking tick twat fucking went crazy for that one. You guys, and the best is the guys that have the, that are talking about the style of tricep press down I do, have no triceps. You have no fucking triceps. Half of you are this fucking big with your like Justin Bieber swooped haircuts. You're like, I work out. Well, you know, the long head is attached to the femoral, blah, 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 blah. Like, just nonsense, reaming off fucking names of body parts that aren't even associated with your fucking arm or your chest or your shoulder. Anyway, so then that is a good start for overall. You can really push the weight up there and understand we're, like, isolating more on tricep on a kind of a heavier, we can get heavier on that. We can put more resistance. We can get more, elicit more blood to the muscle, right? So... Then we move on to the stuff that we normally do, where it's, the, the whole idea is if you have this bigger frame guy, you have these tiny fucking chicken arms, you literally need to get your arm off of your body so that the arm can work on its own. Is everything you do normally, guys who do this normally, if they didn't do the way I did it, they'd be here and they're like, and you can see everything's pinned. Everything's pinned here. So it's just me flicking my hand that's all it's become to them is this, right? So if I understand that, then I'm gonna roll here and I'm able to be open here and just fire. 
So my arm is on its own. It's literally not attached to my lat. There's a little tension of like my arm pressing down into my lat, but I'm just extending. Letting that tricep fire. And again here, I'm not throwing my hand. I'm not doing that. Like I see some guys doing or they get here and then they're just rapid action. Like, like guys, tricep is not your hand moving back and forth and extending your arm with your hand. It's extending your arm with your tricep. So I have pressure down, I gotta do more weight. Like ridiculous. So there's pressure down, locked into my tricep, set here. My tricep, my shoulders and my body, it's not out here. I'm also not going like this or leaning into it or tucking, I'm just set. So my body weight is forward. So again here, if I let go of this cord, my, I would step forward. I would stumble forward because this cord is displacing my weight. So I'm transferring weight. My weight is forward. I let my weight rock back. I move through my body and extend my arm. So I'm catching here. I'm firing here to squeeze my arm out straight. My hand is just holding on like an anchor. I don't care about throwing my hand out. My hand is gonna work. It has to hold on to the fucking cord, right? But I'm squeezing out. So the idea is that I'm flexing down on my arm and squeezing out my tricep here to fire this out. Right? So those are things we do. Also do this, turning here, pressing over. Same thing, arm is off the body. Arm is away from the body. Arm is sweeping on its own tricep. And again, it's not punching your hand. Bah, bah, bah. Expecting just because I'm doing the movement of tricep exercise that my tricep is growing. It's not. It's gonna stay flat as a pancake. Same thing here, we're pinning across here, we're rocking out. Here now, I am basing more in shoulder and neck because I wanna get this, as I wanna get this contraction as tight as I can in here. And I wanna flex through, so I'm hitting that top upper horseshoe area of my tricep, the meat up here. So I'm trying to fire through and squeeze. I'm trying to make the range not as big. As you can see, I'm only extending to there, not here. This is, this is not locked out, guys. This is locked out, your arm. This is not tricep. This is tricep. If I'm, bent, if I'm flexing here and I'm squeezing, my tricep will contract there. It's not here. I'll lose it, right? So if I squeeze here, this is my tricep locked out not locked out there that's my elbow locked out i think people are confusing their elbow lockout with their tricep lockout so it's like yeah you can lock out on joint this is a locked out arm all day but that's locked out on joint boom boom lockdown i'm stuck whereas if here i lock on muscle and i rock back up i'm contracting muscle just like when i push chest and i squeeze chest here my chest is contracted now are my arms locked out no, this is my arms locked out. So I'm squeezing chest to there, thinking that I'm opening, closing. Squeezing, squeezing. A lot of people like to teach that now, the whole concept of opening and closing. Don't think I don't see you doing that with your people. None of you were talking like that before. Mike's crazy, but your chest doesn't move like this. It's like, yet you all seem to be like, oh, that is how it feels. Therefore, it is how it works in my mind, right? I don't understand the fucking movement of my fibers and how they wrap up under my pec and insert into my delt or the front of my delt and my bicep. It's like, no, it feels like this when you're training. So cue people to how it feels. That's how it's supposed to, that's how it feels when you do it. Don't tell them a bunch of mumbo jumbo and be like, ooh, fucking, your pec minor and your pec major should feel like they're this and that. It's like, open, close. Squeeze around peck. That's all it is. Same with tricep. You guys will argue with me all day. Some some guy tagged me. The guy's doing the press down completely right. He's holding here and he's going flexing here, and that's a that's a locked out tricep. That's locked out. This isn't. This is oh, locked out on joint. And don't get me wrong, I feel my fucking tricep. But I'm also in this cramped position where I'm straining everything and I'm rolled forward to my shoulder. So just here is all we need. There's a time and the place where we can overextend and we can squeeze, but it's working through that contracted motion. So if I'm fully contracted here, I'm contracting a little more here and then rocking off. It's not my goal to go. You understand? Like, yes, they're locking out technically, but it's not what we want. 
you guys are need to get that through your head that you're if you're a bodybuilder which you claim to be or say you are and you compete stop fucking moving like a power lifter or a strength athlete you're not that that's not what you are I know a lot of people who are far smart, far more intelligent than me that will agree with me on that. They just don't feel like saying anything or making these fucking videos like I do. Because it's like, why? We know that. People that are intelligent know this. The people that don't know it are fucking lost. So like, I'm the only one saying this shit because I want to help people in the sense that like, I want to make you understand that what you're doing is not going to work. It's only gonna work to a certain point and then weird things are gonna start happening. You're gonna get fucked up, completely fucked up physiques, development wise, like from guys who are lifting rigid with back movement. The more rigid you are with back movement, guys, the shittier your back is. And that's, that's across the board. Even the fucking guys that are showing you this rigid back movement, like leaning in here, shit backs, awful backs. Guys with great backs, tons of movement, tons of rocking around, shoulder retraction, chest caving in, sternum lifting, just like that.